it, it comes and finds a home. The third is somehow throughout our lives, we get bacteria in our bloodstream, maybe a cut, mm -hmm. maybe an infection, a pneumonia. Um, that then circulates in our bloodstream and attaches to the surface of the implant because our immune system cannot surveil the surface of an implant. Hip, knee, breast, dental cannot control that. So it, it comes and finds a home. Correct. And they like to bring their friends. They form colonies and that's bacterial biofilm. And that causes? So that'll lead you to interaction with the breast tissue and development of that biomarker we talked about, oxylipin 10 home. And that has been shown to be higher in patients who are more symptomatic with breast implant illness. So individuals that have more biofilms, mm -hmm. little colonies that are hiding from your immune system on this synthetic toxin, essentially low-grade toxin, are now causing chronic inflammation because they're they're fighting. Like, how does that? Yeah, it causes oxidation, right? Think of like joint pain, muscle pain, shortness of breath, all sorts of fatigue problems. Flu-like symptoms. That's where you're getting, those are all the symptoms of chronic inflammation.